Hello, friends. Welcome. I'm Tata from Quantum Sunrise, and I'm going to speak with you today about some of the energies and um, fixed star influences that we're feeling in these days that are post-annular eclipse after the Libra annular eclipse we just experienced on the 2nd of October. Of course, we have an awful lot happening in the world. Energies are very active and uh, there's a lot there's a lot to trigger us all no matter what our particular triggers may be there's a lot happening in the world so i wanted to draw attention to some um, important influences that are that are um, impacting us now and in the hopes that this may serve you better inform you as we continue moving forward as this eclipse energy is going to affect us for the remainder of this year. This was very potent. Um, so we have a grand water trine, which was exact um, in the past day or two. It's now opening up somewhat. However, this energy is very potent. And so I'm going to draw some attention to this um, despite the fact it's no longer exact today, we will still be feeling this energy or you may, you know, relate to this and, and I hope find this helpful. And the water trine between Venus and Scorpio, Saturn in Pisces and Mars in Cancer. The energies of this grand trine are further impacted or enhanced enhanced is the better word for this with venus having been conjunct the fixed star acrux in the crux constellation aside from venus in scorpio being engaged in looking very deeply at um, what it is that has motivated us where we have been unaware of something really upsetting to us maybe starting to key in on this. This Venus in Scorpio is considering what we love, how we love, and examining some of the more detailed aspects of this. And maybe we want to make some kind of a different choice. Maybe our energy hasn't been balanced in those exchanges. Balancing, it's being aided, working in partnership this trine everything is continuing to flow the energy is moving that energy is effortless um, hence a good reason why uh, we can be aware of this so that this energy doesn't just sort of get us caught up in it without being aware and understanding and being an active participant in co-creating how it is that we're we're manifesting our days so venus is working in cooperation with Mars in Cancer. Mars in Cancer is um, feeling quite a bit slower than usual to move to action and is being quite um, detail oriented. Mars was conjunct, conjunct Sirius A and opposite Vega. Um, this is a very detail-oriented energy, a slowing down, also protective. So in this way, this harmony of working with Venus is like, wait, okay, where is there something where I haven't been uh, maybe respecting my own energy? I've been allowing this to leak out or be drawn from me without um, conscious intention. Maybe there's something we need to protect. This is cancer crab energy where are we moving back into our shell or are we ready to move beyond it we have hidden in that shell for long enough and venus is calling mars to draw out some kind of energy from us to move forward now we have uh, also saturn saturn is the third part of this trine and i would say um really a uh, uh, sort of a hinging point in in this saturn responsible for structure order rules is in pisces a sign where it is not its most not his most comfortable 
This is um, a very nebulous kind of energy, spiritual energy, uh, much more willing to go beyond the boundaries that Saturn would like us to impose. Now in this trine, this effortless flow of energy between Saturn, Mars, and Venus, Saturn is conjunct the fixed star, Akronar, and still is Saturn being slower moving. This conjunction remains active for a longer period. Um, Akronar is bringing uh, an aspect of shadow work, shadow hunting into this equation. So very much in this same theme of looking at what's hidden, what have we not been consciously aware of? What may have been, um, what what we may have been protecting or failing to protect, and in which way would we like to choose how to how to engage with this as we continue moving forward? Whatever these triggers may be, again, take this in the context of what's happening in the world and in your life. Is there something that you may feel like to change? something you're ready to change in order to maintain a healthy flow of energy in your own self, in your own life. And then, of course, in exchange, when our own energy flow is healthy, we're better able to engage with others, right, in a much more healthy way, in a helpful way, if this is what we're uh, attempting to achieve, or in a way to preserve, protect, and heal our own energy if this is where you're moving through in your life. Akronar, this fixed star, um, has the energy and frequency of the elementals, the fairy realm, and also an ability to um, see through falsehoods, identify timelines, and um, ways of being, identify the energy and to be able to discern what is helpful, what is truthful, what is timely, and what is not, what may be regressive, restrictive, um, illusory, deceptive. This grand water trine is calling on us individually to make this evolutionary shift if you're already feeling this ability present with you, then to expand this or uh, to um, to uh, fine tune it, to apply it in a way that's helpful. This exact, this exacting sort of energy is there. Now, I will mention that Mercury has been conjunct the sun. Is just obviously Mercury moves quite quickly. Was conjunct the sun in the last day or two and is now moving beyond that. Um, but Mercury is in a square to Mars. And so be aware of where our communication may tend to be out of balance by instinct. So as Mars brings something into our awareness that we'd like to shift, and Mercury is moved to communicate that change, what it is that we are either no longer willing to do or what it is that we are going to do now and how this change might be affecting others as we engage. Um, you know, when we move forward and make changes, how does that change affect others in our lives and our relationship with others? And so um, Mercury in Libra, giving some energy there and attentiveness to ensuring that we're communicating in a healthy way, in a loving way. That doesn't mean that it will be gentle and easy, but being intentional with how it is that we communicate, what we choose to engage with, and respecting that Black Moon Lilith remains at 10 degrees Libra. This was the point of the annular eclipse that we had on the 2nd of October. And this energy remains very, very active. This is this reaching deep down into the underpinning of what it is that we know. Consider this in the sense of your own self, your own being, and also most definitely in the collective. What is there underneath the foundations of 
our understanding collectively that is being drawn out and called out into the light, you know, like stirring a still puddle that may seem like it's pretty clear. But once you move that water around, and this is a grand water trine, all of the mud that's down at the bottom of that puddle is shifted and the waters become murky and, you know, we can't see anymore. So the greatest importance here is to find the balance internally within yourself. Be aware of how it is that you would like to engage and what your intention is when engaging with the outside, with others, to communicate what you feel is necessary. And then being solid and prepared to move forward, regardless of how the rest of that may seem. This may, you know, a lot of apple carts will be upset, um, knowing and feeling confidence in our own choices from a heart-centered place of unity within ourselves is going to help us navigate the choppy waters, the muddy puddles, as we continue to move through the rest of October, through Libra season, and into the remainder of the year. I'm sending you so many blessings. I hope this information is helpful for you. And if you're interested in receiving um, some insights into your own natal chart on galactic perspectives on this, please reach out. QuantumSunrise.ca. Thank you.